Hi lovebugs, Chantal Hai, Canada's dating coach, and I want to answer a super important question about first dates. How can you make your first date absolutely rock? Now, I had somebody today who asked me, how can I avoid having first dates that feel like an interview? How can I get all of the answers to the questions that I want without putting this person on the spot and making them feel like I'm just grilling them and interviewing them. And I said, listen, the way that you avoid having an interview style date is to not interview them. Don't sit across from them and ask all these questions. I understand that you want to get a lot of information at the beginning so that you know whether or not you should be spending some time with this person. And by all means, do get to the root of who they are but don't sit across from them and just launch question after question. Who are you? What do you do? Where do you live? How long have you been in your job? How much are you making? Do you own your home? Don't do that. Instead, go for a walk. So pick some kind of location that has stuff that you can look at or enjoy. You know, go to a marina, go to a museum, hit up an art gallery obviously somewhere public maybe don't head you know for that hike in the woods just yet but take a walk so that you can ask all the questions you want but because you're side by side it's not right in their face and you can have silences and not have them be uncomfortable which means you can spend more time together than if you were having that coffee shop interview and the bonus to that when you're taking a walk is it doesn't cost anything. So this question about who pays for the date, who cares? Nobody has to pay anything. We're taking a walk. You're just gonna get to know each other. Now, what kind of questions should you ask? Get to the root of who he is. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. And if you pick up a copy of my book, No More Assholes, let's see if this is gonna be, ah, no, it's backwards. Listen, if you get a copy of my book, No More Assholes, which it will say frontward when you pick it up from the bookstore or off Amazon or get it off my website, canadasdatingcoach.com, I have a bunch of questions in here that are designed to help you peel back who he is and really get to the heart of his character. We are formed by our upbringing. And the best predictor, like I said, of future behavior is past behavior. So dig into his history, dig into who he is, dig into what he has done. And this is a great way of predicting who he will be and what you can anticipate. But again, this is the beauty of the no kissing for three months rule that you would follow if you followed my advice because anybody can say anything in the beginning. The key is consistency. Does the story remain the same? Does the character remain the same? Do you like more the more you learn.